Good morning everybody. This is Pam from Nana's Crafting Cottage. Out with you again for another fun project. Today I'm making specimen slides, but just a little bit different. This is a Pinterest inspired uh, project as well. But first of all, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate every last one of you. I am so glad that you're here. And welcome back to my current subscribers. I appreciate every last one of you. And I so appreciate all the kind comments I've been getting. So, anyway, the project is a specimen slide, but with pictures. I did these bugs. I just had to try them. These are Tim Holtz um, metal bugs. And I did it with the Tim Holtz and Sizzix um, uh, set here with the specimen slides and the file folder. And it's 665930. I love this set. I've used it so much. The pieces, the parts, I've used everything in it. <laughs> I love it. So that's what I used to cut out all these pieces for this project. Now the photos are from some old photos that my sister had sent that she got off of Etsy. So no, they're not family members or anything. They're just some vintage photos that she was able to get a hold of on Etsy. And I don't know exactly the shop or anything, but anyway, um, that's why I decided to use. And so, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding on these. So I'll put my photos aside. I thought I would do my video early this morning. My husband's still snoozing. And um, this is... This video is out on Thursday, so I'm filming this on Wednesday, the day before. I am using a pouncer, ink pouncer, but with sanding discs from Tim Holtz. Um, I love this thing. <laughs> it is amazing. It is so easy to sand. And I'm using his uh, cardstock paper, and it is the sandable kind, as you can see here. So yeah, I love this paper. And I mostly just sand, and sometimes I do go over it with ink. And if I do go over it with ink, It'll be the Distress Oxide Scorched Timber, the newest color. Love that color. <laughs> that is all me. So, just like that, it is distressed. Really awesome. So, I will go ahead and get these other pieces done. The nice thing about these discs is you can just basically do inside and out right at the same time. Like on these, instead of um, doing, you know, the inside frame and then have to do the outside frame, you, I just swirl it around and sand. Get the edges a little bit more if I want. And get the part where the labels go. See, just really, really neat. I love it. So I'll go ahead and get all these done. And I've been going on Pinterest, getting ideas, and putting my twist on it. And so hopefully... You guys are getting inspired to try something like these yourself. Whatever my project is that you're watching. Oh, that is just so yummy. 
Oh my goodness. Yep. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And of course, I will be doing things to the photos to age them as well after I'm done with this. Now this tab, I'm just going to go one side and then the other because it's kind of hard to fold it out and get this top fold here like that otherwise. So let's do that. So neat. Oh, I just love this paper. And I'm really going through it too. I'm probably going to end up having to order some more pretty soon. Not quite yet. I use all the scraps. I mean, every scrap I can use until it's down to next to nothing. <laughs> That's what I do. Blow it off a little bit. There we go. And I have two numbers for this particular guy. So I have the tab and I have this one that I cut out. There we go. And it doesn't take long at all to do any of them. So where you guys are, <clears throat> I hope you are having spring. I know one of the ladies I follow on YouTube, Gail Agostinelli, uh, she's in Montana. So spring hasn't quite started there yet. It hasn't, hasn't quite started like it has here. I'm in northwest Oregon. About 25 miles west of Portland, Oregon, and about 55 miles from the beach. So we're in between. We're in a little uh, country town surrounded by farming land, and we've lived here for uh, 31 years, I guess, between 31 32. And we love it here. We love it. Okay, there's that. And this one also has two numbers, but I'm putting them on differently. I'm not going to be using a tab. I just thought I'd try three different ways and give you, I, you know, a few ideas. Almost done. Wow. I have sanding paper, but it does not get the edges in, in the little areas in between the numbers and such like the sanding disc does. I am so happy I went ahead and got those here some time back because I saw Louisa Heinzel use them and I was like, I had no idea they were out there. And she was just starting to use them too at that point so yeah I had to have them because I do the same type of thing with sanding and such and I do it quite a bit so I even use them on photos um, regardless of you know what where I've gotten them if they're Tim Holtz paper dolls or Photomatic or um, whatever, doesn't matter. I do the sanding because I love it so much. And this is very helpful. In fact, I've been using this one disc well, ever since I got them. It's been some months now and they last a long time. I did get refills just in case, but I haven't even changed it yet. I haven't had to. So, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Let me get rid of all this. Actually, let me brush everything off. I just happen to have one of my paint brushes here that I use to brush things off. 
Mm -mm. Pardon me. Got a frog in my throat. Wow. <laughs> I guess it's too early. It is quite early this morning. <laughs> I'm an early riser, so I get with it really early. Because I usually have other things that I want to do, like start getting things together for my next project, which you will see on Saturday. And I'll be filming that in the next couple days, too. So, yeah. I try and keep up with... I don't know if I've brushed these or not. Probably not. Try and keep up with the um, videos so I'm not running around like a chicken with a pig cut off the day of the day that I want it out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Okay, now we can start in. Okay, now these are a little bit tricky to um, get to meet on the other side sometimes. So I have to get that done ahead of time so I'm not messing with it when I want to get it put together. So let me get my big bone folder out here, the big guns. Yeah, so that's good. And I'm just going to go ahead and do all of them while I'm at it to save time. Okay. Just kind of work and finesse it and then press really hard and get it down. Okay. Very good, because I will be putting these small brads in there. Um, I had tried to think of different things to put in there, but I still like the metal. So, yeah, metal it is. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me just do there. I'll flip it over. Okay, now the pictures, I like to do a little bit of sanding on them because um, that's just me. So I'll do just a little bit on there. And then what I like to do is kind of crinkle them up. Make them look old. And then I think I will use my vin or ground espresso on here on the creases. Because I don't want it really super dark. Um, I just want to show that there are there's some aging there. Okay. There's that little girl. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this fellow and his horrors. And I just do it enough to get some scratches on there. Okay. And then just kind of wrinkle it up. This is an easy way of getting it aged. It doesn't take long at all. I hear the birds out there. It's not even light yet, 
but they're they're waking up. My chickens are already awake. <laughs> yes, I have five hens, and they are my my babies. I've had them since they were babies. I got them when they were a day old, and we don't have our little dog anymore. So they are my pets. And they give gorgeous eggs and they are really cranking up. It's the season for them to start laying again. This is a real hard um, cardboard type picture here. Real stiff. That's all right. I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. Yeah, so I always um, have a light that goes on at a certain time in the morning, early morning. And then with the sunlight coming out more, we've had some really nice warm days lately, but it's starting to go south now again, <laughs> which is typical for spring. And um, yeah, everything's all dried out now from all the relentless rain we had been having, but it's going to be going back to some rain here and there in a couple days. Okay. Got that part done. All right. Now it is assembly time and because these are shiny I am not going to put any um, acetate in between which you normally would. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be gluing them straight on here. So I'm going to put it around the frame here. And just around the edge here. Whoops. Kind of wibbly wobbly this morning. Early. Uh -uh. I love doing my videos early in the morning because I'm fresh. Um, and I don't have any... Um, you know, anything else that I need to do right now. Um, it, it's just a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and nip. Do I really need to nip that? I'm going to go ahead and do it from that corner. I'm a perfectionist, so sometimes things bug me. All right, and then that will be glued like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use, um, no, I'm going to use scorched timber. And look at this inked up a bit here before I get the hardware put on. And this back part usually shows a little bit, so I just ink it okay all right there's that one we'll just do all of them like a um, assembly line type thing since I'm doing three of them and we'll figure out this guy here And let's see, I think he is right about there. Yep. Okay, so get the glue out. And yes, I'm still using this bottle. It's just down to a little bit, but wow, it goes so far. Okay. 
And I've been using on this bottle for forever. <laughs> a long time, let's just put it that way. I love the art glitter glue. I just, I swear by it. I think I'm going to go ahead and glue them together because that will be the next step anyway. So around here. I'll make a picture. Okay, and down. And I do have a punch that will punch these little holes here. Um, it is right here. You see that little stem there? Kind of hard to see. That's what I punch them with. So I think I'll go ahead and do that because I will be putting those brads on. So just line them up with the hole there as best I can. Okay. And right there. I'm sure if you don't have a punch, you can do it with a heavy needle or something like that. Like a darning needle would be heavy enough to go through it. Um, let's see this tool. Because it's, here we go. Okay. So, got that all ready. We'll go ahead and glue this guy together. And get him punched. There we go. I'm just going to lay that down there. Oh, I do need to ink it though. Let's ink that part. Okay, then I can ink the rest of it now. Okay, did I get the back? No, I didn't get her on the back. I don't know if I'll be putting these directly in, you know, flat on a project, so um, I probably will because of the brads I'm putting in. Um, they will, you'll see the legs on the other side. These others, the bug ones that I did, I just, um, because these brads are bigger, have bigger heads, I just went ahead and clipped the legs off hammered them down on that side, turned them over, hammered them a bit on the top, and then just glued them on. And they seem to work okay. But I kind of wanted to just do it differently um, with this one. So with these, so yeah. Okay. You know, I imagine you can get this punch on Amazon. I don't know. My sister had sent this to me because she had an extra one. So I use it for my brads. Okay. There we go. All right. Now let's glue this these little boys in. They're so cute. Look like a couple of little roughnecks they do. 
Oh, I ra we raised two boys. Um, they were mine from another marriage, and then um, my husband has a son and a daughter. So they were older when he and I got married, but my kids were very young. So he raised two families. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> his kids were all grown and and uh, on their way out the door when we got married. So he got to start all over again, which he gladly did. He he's been an awesome father. The real real father has been gone for quite a few years, but. Um, my husband pretty well raised him uh, before that because, you know, we were up here and it was just a situation with their real father that he was more of a father than a dad, if you understand what I mean. So anyway, my husband's always been there for them. And yeah but they were a couple of little roughnecks themselves when they were little <laughs> oh yeah they were i think that's typical of boys and now they're in their 40s ah. <laughs> and my husband and i celebrate our 37th anniversary tomorrow the day that this comes out, um, which is Thursday, so it would be today to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. Okay. Here we go. Let's get these punched. Oh, we're still doing good on time. Awesome. I tried to have everything cut out ahead of time and all ready but left some of the process for the video. Okay, I'm gonna put that guy back. All right, we're all set. Okay, now this, I want to go ahead and put on here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down and then do the hardware last. Is it may take a little bit to get the legs um, you know pulled apart and hidden and all that kind of stuff so yeah okay there nice and grungy just the way I like it Okay, and there's a space in here, a block, that you can kind of center it in there. So there's that one. Nice. Okay, and then we will get these. Let's see, I think I'll put series right here. So, a little bit there, and this will be around the back. And I did line this with uh, tea dyed paper, so in so that when I punch this out, it would show. I had punched it out, and I thought, hmm, I need to line that so it'll be seen. Let's see, put it right there. There we go. And then, here's the number. Let's see, let's get my tweezers here. Okay. 
and get it centered in there, if at all possible. And straight. All right. There we go. Okay. I like it a lot. Okay, this little girl, she gets just one big label. I love this die set. Um, you can use it for so many different projects. And then this fits right within that slot. Right there. Yep. Love it. Okay, now to, let's, see, let's get this out the way, get my glue closed up. All right, and let's do the brads. Okay, where's my other brad at? No. Oh, there he is. Oh, they're so hard to see. <laughs> ah! Okay, so put that like that. And then I'm going to press that down. I'm going to use the end of my tweezers. Okay, like that. And I just angle them. And then I'll come back and glue, oops, the other side, dirt. Um, come back and glue them down. And that way they won't go anywhere. Actually, I should use this. It's a lot stronger and can withstand the, yes. All right, fun. Okay, we'll angle it and then press. And of course, it's going to be stubborn about it. There's always got to be one in the bunch, right? Yep. Okay. All right, and then it's because it's right on that, pretty much on that crease where they have the hole. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to angle it. Okay, that's why it's giving me some grief. All right, there we go. This one again. Okay. Um, I should have left. It's all right. Oh my goodness. Well, he's going to be a stubborn one. Let's see. And this dries clear, so okay, I'm gonna leave that there. All right, and let's bring the next batch over. These are a little bit different color. Yeah, do that. Okay. 
And here. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm concentrating <laughs> on keeping these in here, getting them splayed the right. Whoops, splayed the right way. Come on. Don't fight me. It's going to happen. Whether you like it or not. Okay, so there. And there. Scoot you in. Alright. Keep wanting to put it on the back side, goofball. Ugh. Okay. And there and there. Okay. And then put some glue on it. Kind of hold it in place. There we go. Put that there. And then the last one. These fellas taken care of. Okay, squish it. Okay, and here. I get it down by the time I get to the last one. <laughs> oh, always. Always. Okay. There. And the last one. There we go. I think. I hope. Come on, Bubba. Okay. Squish him down good. And then put some glue on here to hold it down. Ugh, that's going to be a stubborn one there. There we go. And there. Okay. Let's put the glue away. Oops. I can get it put in. Huh. Huh. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to go off camera and get these dry and then we will share what we've done today. Okay, I'm back. Everything's dry on the back. So I wanted to show you what we did today. adorable. I just love them. Um, so hopefully this inspires you to try a project like this on your own. And if you do, let me know. Share it. I would love to see it. I'd love to hear about it. So um, I will see you guys next time, which will be on Saturday. So have a good rest of your week, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.